everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page four of uh, Steampunk Spells. And this is gonna be a fun little page. We're gonna start by putting down the base, which is gonna be these two pieces, and then everything is gonna go on top of the base. So this is from the eight by eight collection, and this is from the 12 by 12. So I'm gonna lay down the smaller of the two, and then I'm gonna trim this side to fit, as usual. And I want to thank everybody for putting out all those lovely comments over on Facebook. We read every single one of them, and we really appreciate it. So thank you. And I've passed on the wonderful comments that um, we've received on Julie's uh, folio. So I'm making sure that Julie's getting those uh, comments to her as well. And is at, ooh, I said this was page... This is not right. I almost put it on the wrong page. <laughs> uh, let's see, where am I? So that's page two. Okay, here's page three and four. Okay, whoops, I almost blew that. I could hear you guys yelling at me, wait. <laughs> so this is page uh, four, and then we'll work on page five in just a second. And these are gonna coordinate, but they're gonna be slightly different. <clears throat> I want a little um, gap here so that we can see the black come through. Although it's not terribly obvious, I'm sure, on the camera because the print also has black. <clears throat> I'm still suffering with whatever this stupid thing is. I just went to the doctor today and... They're testing me for strep. Maybe that's what it is, but it's just hanging on forever. I'm tired of being tired. <clears throat> so we'll see. They've got me on a couple of new things. Hopefully I can kick it this time. Okay, let's dry fit one more time. Uh, looks right on. Spot on. I think I mentioned it. 12 by 12. No. No, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm not sure. I gotta look at my eight by eights because that looks awfully big. Uh, yep, okay, so I think I said eight by eight, but this is actually 12 by 12. 12 by 12. <clears throat> and so is this pattern. It's also from the 12 by 12. Sorry about the confusion up front. Okay, there we go. It's not hard to figure out because of the scale. Both would work. It would just be tighter scale. And I like the bigger scale. Um, okay, so next we're going to install um, a bifold card. And this card's going to have some magnets in it. So we're going to go ahead and start by putting our magnets in. I cracked up when I read one of the comments about you guys yelling at me, wait, put the magnet in. I swear sometimes I think I can hear you. A lot of times it's like, as soon as I glue it down, it's like, oh, I knew I forgot something. It's easy to do when you get excited about the paper and you just want to pull it together so you can see it in a finished state. All right, so these uh, bifolds are eight inches by six. Eight by six, you're gonna score at four. Okay, it's gonna be just like that. So the other piece that we're gonna add is just this photo mat. And it's gonna go right here. Now this photo mat is four and a half by four and a half. <clears throat> just a stationary photo mat. And before I glue this down, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it. So we're gonna use this side. Again, from the 12 by 12, that's also from the 12 by 12. And then we've got 
this cat pattern that we're going to put inside. Okay, now let's figure out how we're going to stack these. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I made this so it's going to open <clears throat> over to the right, excuse me. <clears throat> and I think I like... I want it to be slightly offset. I can't remember what I did. This is a cut apart from the eight by eight, and I definitely want to use this as an embellishment. This is a bit that I had cut through, but I could save part of it, so I'm just gonna stick it behind here. And then lastly, I'm gonna add this little element on the bottom. So again, eight by eight, and that's cut apart from the eight by eight. I think I like the way that's turning out. Um, you could also do something like this if you like. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to glue this down. Like so, and see I've left that blank so I could slide this under. Once I get it where I want it. Okay. You could have glued this down first, but I knew I was going to place this based on this location. That looks pretty straight. But I'm not sure. Let's take a look. <clears throat> yep. So what I'm doing when I run it across the edge of this is I'm just making sure it's staying right there on that line, and it is. So that means it's straight. It's just a quick way to tell. Okay, now let's go ahead and add these two elements. Since this is just a partial, I'm going to make sure most of it's behind the complete one. And then I'm just going to glue down the bottom so that you can tuck your photo behind it. So I'm making the turquoise frame straight to that line. And then we're going to add this little element. This is just fussy cut, not being fussy cut. I think from the cover, but You've got, uh, that's in the 12 by 12 collection, uh, the larger size ones. And they just make for fun embellishments everywhere. We also have a bunch of uh, chipboard and stickers that we can work with as well. <clears throat> but I just, in particular, like the way this pulled those three elements together. Remember in design, there's that, the magic three. Um, you always want to cluster things in threes or odd numbers. I didn't make the rule. I just follow it. I can't remember who told me that, but I heard it a long time ago. <clears throat> and it makes pulling things together a lot easier. Okay, so there we go. I think I might add a little something something here, but I'm going to set it aside for now. 
and then in a few minutes I'll be back and we'll work on page five.